So far in this series, we've learned some common prepositions of time. We've learned the prepositions we use with days, months, and years. We've also learned prepositions we use with short and long periods. I posted that video last Friday. Wait, shouldn't you say on last Friday? Well, there are times you can drop the preposition and other times you can't even use a preposition. Um, not at all. No preposition. Let's take a look at dropping prepositions of time. Welcome back to Snap Language Learner. This is Mark Franco. Sometimes a preposition of time is optional. You can use it or just leave it out. Let's have dinner on Saturday. Let's have dinner Saturday. My brother's birthday is on March 2nd. My brother's birthday is March 2nd. Christmas is always on December 25th. Christmas is always December 25th. My first class starts on Tuesday. My first class is Tuesday. We landed on the moon on July 20th, 1969. We landed on the moon July 20th, 1969. So, what's going on here? Before days, you can drop the preposition. Can you come back on Monday? Can you come back Monday? It's the same. But wait, we landed on the moon July 20th, 1969. Aren't you saying the month and the year? Yes, but it's still a day. It's a very specific day that fell in July in the year of 1969. Because it's a day, you can drop the preposition. Mr. Smith moved to San Diego July 1st, 2019. That's the day Mr. Smith moved there, so you can drop the preposition. Just one last thing about dropping the preposition before days. This is very common in American English. In other English varieties, they may prefer using the preposition. In formal, written American English, you should use the preposition because dropping it makes it sound a little too conversational. Okay, um, what else? Oh, in some cases, you never use a preposition. Never. If you use one of these words before a day, month, year, or date, you do not use a preposition. Never. I go swimming on Saturdays. I go swimming every Saturday. I didn't go swimming last Saturday. I'll be in New York on Monday. I'll be in New York this Monday. I was in California in April. I was in California last April. I was in Los Angeles in the winter. I was in Los Angeles last winter. I'm in Los Angeles every winter. So you could say these. I'm leaving for Texas on Monday. I'm leaving for Texas Monday. This is very conversational. But you must say, I'm leaving for Texas this Monday. You could say, I have a day off on Friday. I have a day off Friday to be conversational. But you should say, I have a day off this coming Friday. You cannot use the preposition here. As you probably already know, you don't use a preposition with time adverbs such as today, yesterday, or tomorrow. So you say, I'm going in the morning. But you should say, I'm going tomorrow morning. No preposition. We're leaving in the afternoon but we are leaving tomorrow afternoon. It's not wrong to say, I saw John in the morning yesterday, but I saw John yesterday morning sounds more natural. If you use the day of the week and one of these adverbs, it sounds more natural if you drop the prepositions too. We are leaving in the afternoon on Monday sounds okay. It sounds more conversational to say, we are leaving Monday afternoon without any prepositions. The meeting is in the morning on Tuesday. 
the meeting is Tuesday morning. The plane leaves at night on Friday. Hmm. The plane leaves Friday night. That sounds more natural. The concert is at night on Friday. The concert is Friday night. To recap, before a day, you can use the preposition or you can drop it. If you use words like this, next, or last with a date, you must drop the preposition. Also, if you use yesterday or tomorrow along with the day, you can use the preposition, but it usually sounds more natural to drop the preposition. By the way, check the video description for links to related lessons and practice. Let's practice a bit here too. I will give you the parts of a sentence, you say the complete sentence, including the preposition. But remember, sometimes you may not need a preposition, other times you cannot use a preposition. Ready? Jane is coming afternoon. Jane is coming in the afternoon. John is coming this afternoon too. John is coming this afternoon too. Patrick arrives tomorrow. Patrick arrives tomorrow. Roxana arrives tomorrow afternoon. Roxana arrives tomorrow afternoon. Bye, I'll see you this weekend. Bye, I'll see you this weekend. Bye, I'll see you Saturday. Bye, I'll see you on Saturday. Or, bye, I'll see you Saturday. Can we meet Friday morning? Can we meet Friday morning? We always have pizza the weekend. We always have pizza on the weekend. Would you like to eat out? This weekend? Would you like to eat out this weekend? Let's go out to eat Saturday. Let's go out to eat on Saturday. Or, let's go out to eat Saturday. I'll be in New York August. I will be in New York in August. I will be in Chicago August 23rd. I will be in Chicago on August 23rd, or I will be in Chicago August 23rd. I'll see you in Denver this coming October. I'll see you in Denver this coming October. Will you be in Canada the summer? Will you be in Canada in the summer? I'm taking a trip next summer. I'm taking a trip next summer. Let's go to the movies Friday evening. Let's go to the movies Friday evening. Let's stay home Friday. Let's stay home on Friday. Or, let's stay home Friday. Let's throw a party September 15th. Let's throw a party on September 15th. Or, let's throw a party September 15th. All right, how did you do? If you didn't do well, you can watch the video and try the practice again. You can also follow the link in the description for more practice. Please like and share this lesson with people learning English. Thanks for watching and enjoy learning, always.